Same as Emily. Not to make anyone miss ice cream or summer more than we already do, but let's all take a moment to appreciate the anticipation of picking out your favorite ice cream flavor in the sticky fingers that we all normally have. Um, unless you have a diet that dairy allergy, in which I feel very hor horrible for you, I can't think of anyone that hates ice cream. Uh, handles ice creams isn't just awesome because of the story that it provides to everybody. It's awesome also because of the history and of how it started. For many of you that probably don't know, Handel's Ice Cream was locally owned by and created in Yonkstown, Ohio. Um, I've been privileged to find out how it all began, obviously, by working there. Um, I think as an employee, it's important for you to know where... Your, how your history started, how it all began, and everything that it took for it to become, like, where you are today. Um, first, I'll tell you the story of Handles, and secondly, I will go over the various flavors and products that we have with my visual aid. Um, and then I'll finally talk about the various locations that have spread from Yorkstown all the way to Las Vegas. You may get a sense of how and what it takes to start your own small business, and how massive it spread into a big hit. While um, on a hot summer day in 1945, Alex Handel, who is the owner, um, began to pick fresh fruit out of her back of her um, yard and began to make ice cream and decided it would be a good idea to maybe try and just start, you know, giving it to people at the gas station and then decided to sell it. Um, little did she know it would become such a hit, and little and before she knew it, it actually blew up so big that she had to move locations, which she moved to um, the corner of Market Street and Methylonian um, in a nearby location in 1950 because she was so worried about all of the people that were coming that she didn't want them to be harmed. So the lines were so, you know, long and everything that she didn't want her customers to be hurt. Um, Alice Handel worked into her, her um, 70s, and um, in 1985, the current owner, Leonard Fisher of Canfield, brought his wife to meet Alice and to talk about him buying her recipes in her business. Um, unfortunately, Alice Handel passed on Mother's Day 27 years ago and is no longer with us, but... Um, her family and friends miss her every day. My boss, Robert, Robert Mitchell, was able to work alongside of her, and he has a lot of great stories about her. Um, Leonard Fisher is now the current owner, and as stated previously, there are 37 locations in seven states. In Ohio alone, we have 23. Every location is different um, when it comes to their flavors and everything like that. In Ohio, there are two in um, Foreman, one in Austin Town, Broadway Heights, Indiana, which is the one I'm at, um, Cuyahoga Falls, Columbus, Garfield Heights, Green, Liberty, Medina, North Canton, North Field, Niles, Perry Township, Poland, Powell, Stowe, and Pencil five in Pennsylvania, two in Indiana, two in Virginia, two in California, and three in Cal uh, Florida. And then the newest location that just opened up is actually in Las Vegas, which I think is also pretty awesome that we went from you know, Ohio all the way down to Nevada. Um, its success has been report reported in various publications, including Travel.com, uh, which has recognized Handles as one of the best ice cream parlors um, in the country. In 2012, USA Today rated Handles as one of the top 10 best ice cream businesses in the country. It is also been described by Harvard Top News as the busiest ice cream stand in America. Um, Chocolate Air Magazine distinguished handles as one of the best ice creams in America. And in 2006, the National Geographic had a handle the number one ice cream um, in its 10 best of everything book. Um, now to talk about my favorite part of this speech is um, the ice creams and all the products and everything else that we have to offer everybody. Um, in the past few years, the menu has brought 
changed its flavors all over to basically like oh there's over a hundred flavors um not every uh place has those flavors every place is different um but we every place always has vanilla chocolate strawberry um and then they have butter pecan and chocolate pecan which are like the top five favorite flavors that everybody wants um basically any flavor that you would really want we have you just have to call and over to the and have it. Um, we sell everything in cones and we have sell everything in pints and we sell everything in dishes and everything like that. We have milkshakes that you're able to um, use, which I have made a visual aid. Hopefully you can see it. Um, these are the Reese's, Oreos, chocolate, and here we have candle pops, which are you can pick up whatever flavor that you feel like you should want to have on your flavor. Um, for example, if you want to have chocolate and chocolate, then you can have whatever flavor you want. You can have chocolate and you can have candle pops. Um, this one here is called a cherry, which is one of my favorite flavors. So you can pick up like lime. This is a quarter pound, so a quarter is going to be the bigger one, and a pint is going to be the smaller one. And then my favorite one is vanilla cocoa pepper bite. Um, this is just a plain little hot apple dumpling that you can use. Um, oh, what was I going to say? <laughs> um, and also, we have a bunch of flavors because that we do, and we have a single scoop, which is two scoops. Two and a half scoops, which is two fifty, and then we have a double scoop, which is three and a half scoops, and equivalent to the ball, which is three seventy five. Um, we have uh, seasonal flavors that we provide. We have right now we will have thin mint ice cream because it's slow top season, and the week before Easter we have salt and caramel chocolate, pepper shake, quiet Christmas, etc. We have it. Um, the ice cream is made specially uh, every day. It is fresh. It, it doesn't go bad. And if it does go bad, we are always make sure that our customers are um, happy. Um, obviously, when you work, you like you um, use muscles that you never really thought you had. Just eating the ice cream, eating the food, etc., like that. Uh, I actually thought I developed carpal tunnel the first time I ever went there because you use muscles in your hands that you never thought that you would use. Um, at this point, I'm sure you're all seeing me with ice cream because most importantly, Summer, and probably hating me for choosing something so delicious and um, not providing you with anything. Um, I hope that at the end of this week that nobody is allergic to dairy and I have been able to inform you that growing history of our local Youngstown history here. Um, we know that Alice Candle is known to Grace Saint for providing amazing havoc in such a delicious way. Uh, we know that there, you can never have an ice cream flavor that we probably don't have. Um, and that there isn't anywhere around that you could probably go to that doesn't provide you with this. Uh, I hope you can all see and scream for ice cream aware of the small victories and companies that start right around the corner from us. Not only is ice cream delicious, but maybe the next time you're picking out your flavor, you can pick out something that you've never tried before, and you can thank your ice cream scooper for all the time and effort they provide you for making such a wonderful uh, dish. Thank you for listening.